Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be explaining and breaking down Idol's new song, Super Lady. It's a very interesting song, a sound we never heard from Idol. And as always, there are many hidden meanings in the lyrics and music video. Quick disclaimer, if there's any part of this video that is muted is because it was copyrighted. Just pretend you aren't noticing it. Without further ado, let's get into it. The song starts with a very impactful Soyon high note, which shows how the course of the song will go powerfully. The lyrics are a reference to the Queen card chorus where Soyon says, I'm the top as well. You can see that this is a reference by the way she removes the word the in the same way she did in Queen card. This can mean two things. The first one is another reference, but this time to the I never die teaser. I never lose. The second one is quite literally what it says. So Yan never loses, and I'm not talking about charts and numbers. I mean life and work-wise. Every time she wants to do something, she does it. She doesn't care about numbers or even what other people think. For her, music is art, and that's all that matters. I'm going to explain this line during Soyeon's rap part because it's connected, so it'll make more sense if I do so. I Never Die was Idol's first full album as well as their first comeback after Sujin's departure. They came back with everything after a hiatus of one year and surpassed everyone's expectations. Everybody expected them to disband, but they didn't, and more than that, they destroyed the charts. I Never Die was one of the biggest proofs of how powerful they are in every possible sense. Before we move on to Minnie's part, let's talk about this first Soyeon scene. Soyeon is riding a scorpion. In Korea, some people believe that the scorpion represents strength and courage. It is believed that those who can bravely face a scorpion are capable of facing any challenge. In Han, they were stung by a scorpion, but even so, they still admired it, showing their will to gain strength and heal. Here, Soyeon is riding it, showing that she's now brave enough to face any challenge that may show. Here, Minnie is talking about the current society. They claim that for women to be in the same positions as males, they must be so busy all the time that they seldom have time for love. It's a war because there isn't time to relax before so much inequality. In the music video, each member portrays a fictional or historical super lady, basically a powerful woman who somehow impacted other women. Minnie portrays Medusa. Medusa is the most famous of the monster figures known as Gorgons. She's usually represented as a winged female creature, having a head of hair consisting of snakes. She was beheaded by Perseus, who then used her head, which retained its ability to turn onlookers to stone, as a weapon. Medusa has become largely synonymous with feminine rage. Through many of her iterations, Medusa pushes back against a story that seeks to place the male, Perseus, at its center, blameless and heroic. This pretty much means what it says. If anyone tries to stop them, slay it. Shuhua represents the Queen of Hearts from the book Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. The Queen of Hearts is the main antagonist, and she is a childish, foul-tempered monarch with a blind fury who is quick to give death sentences for even the slightest of offenses. Despite the frequency of death sentences, only a few people actually died. Her husband, the King of Hearts, quietly pardons many of his subjects when the Queen is not looking, leading her soldiers to humor her and not respect her. Connecting the dots, this represents how women are treated when in a position of power. Men don't want a powerful person representing them. They want a powerful man. By the way, this cake is a reference to Tomboy and Queen card. This is essentially saying that men usually fool women into thinking something by the way they always act extravagantly and scandalously, pretty much like I just told you about the Queen of Hearts and her husband. A very important point here. Idol has always made strong, explicit, and empowering songs, but they have never been this explicit. Here, as well as other parts of the song, they are using the word men in Korean. This could be enough of a reason for Korean men to dislike the song and start hating them, as well as leading chart and win difficulties, etc., which was what happened. This is very important as it shows the patriarchalism in Korean society. It's almost as if they were saying that it's okay to empower women and create feminist songs, but only to a certain extent. As they are representing powerful women, this means that they don't lose their history and background since it'll keep helping and empowering other women, hence the reason why they are always ready to shoot. This is a reference to Idol's Queendom performance, Put It Straight Nightmare version, where they smudged their lipstick. Here they use the word nom, which is a word usually used when you call someone, especially a guy, a bastard, or things of the sort.
Despite everything that they have to go through in such a society, they will smile and won't bow to men, even if it means that this would guarantee them something. Mion is representing Cleopatra. Cleopatra was the queen of Egypt. She became queen on the death of her father and ruled successively with her two brothers. After the Roman armies defeated their combined forces, Cleopatra committed suicide and Egypt fell under Roman domination. Cleopatra actively influenced Roman politics at a crucial period, and she came to represent, as did no other woman of classical antiquity, the prototype of the romantic femme fatale. Soyon revealed that she was the muse for this album. This is the first time she was used as a muse for an album. She was inspired by her strong character and said that wished the members could be very strong as well. The song intends to empower all ladies, regardless of their ages, history, etc. You're gonna see it better further in the video. A possible reference to CL's song Hello Bitches, as this album seems to be very inspired by the second generation of K-pop, which Soyeon is a fan of. It also is a reference to Medusa's gaze, which turns people into stone. The countdown represents how long it takes for people to be turned into stone. <laughs> This line is a reference to what Yugi is representing. Yugi represents Cruella de Vil in the novel 101 Dalmatians. Cruella's mother in the novel neglected her when she was young, always spending Christmas away, and even hinting at not remembering their own daughter's name. After many failed attempts, Cruella snaps and stands up to her mother by lamenting about all that she hates about her. Her ranting, however, pleases her mom, as she believes it takes some guts to stand up to one's mother. As a result, this finally earns Cruella her mother's respect. Connecting it to today's society, we can understand that this line talks about how even women sometimes turn against other women for no reason at all and need a reason to just respect each other. This part is very cool. These are all references to Soyeon's favorite anime, One Piece. The Conqueror's Haki, or Haushoku Haki, is the special ability to intimidate enemies with very dangerous energy to the point where it can be used to render enemies by making them unconscious. It is said that whoever possesses this power has the qualities of a king, and thus is known as supreme ruler. This is why Soyeon says, I've got all the qualities of a queen. And the awakening that made everyone faint, because this is essentially what the power does. In the One Piece universe, there is something called devil fruits, which are mysterious, distinctive fruits scattered throughout the world, known for permanently granting their eaters superhuman powers. As the name says, it has an unknown relation to the devil. If the devil fruits themselves are extremely powerful, you can only imagine how powerful their creator, the devil, is. So even the devil is frightened by Soyeon. Now let me explain what I said I was going to explain at the beginning. When the song starts, Soyeon says that she is a god. In One Piece, there are four gods, and throughout the series, it has been revealed that the main character ate a devil fruit that gave him the powers of a god. As the previous line said, even even the devil is frightened by Soyeon, and the reason for that is because she is a god. Soyeon represents Athena, the goddess of wisdom and war. Athena as a war goddess, inspired and fought alongside the Greek heroes. Her aid was synonymous with military prowess. Athena competed with Poseidon for the patronage of the city of Athens, and was declared the patron goddess of Athens. There are some scenes of Soyeon and Minnie together, in other words, Medusa and Athena together. When Medusa was beheaded by Perseus, he used her head as a weapon for some time, until he gave it to Athena to place on her shield. Soyeon is rewriting history and placing Medusa and Athena together instead of against each other. In the real story, Medusa as a young priestess served in the temple of Athena. Poseidon lusted and raped her. After finding out, Athena transformed Medusa into a hideous monster with serpents for hair whose gaze would turn any mortal to stone. She doesn't give a damn. I think that's pretty obvious by now, but I'll repeat. As long as they can keep delivering these beautiful messages through their work, they don't care if people will hate them. I believe that this is a reference to Idol's Hua, where the overall meaning is to reborn from the fire and to completely bloom. I'm gonna skip to the outro because the chorus just repeats itself. This is a reference to the beginning of the song where Soyeon says that she never loses. They came to take the win, not to lose. I saw a lot of people saying that in this song they made references to fourth generation girl groups such as La Seraphim, Espa, and I've because of some words such as fearless, batty, and savage, but I don't think so. The word used for savage is not the one that translates to the title of Espa's song. The word batty used was used with a determiner before, which means that it's referring to the word before. The word fearless. Well, this one could be a reference to La Seraphim as they debuted on the same date as Idol, and this album somewhat talks about it. This is just my opinion, though. If you want to believe differently, there's no problem at all. This is a reference to Idol's busy schedules and work. Idol has always to work three times faster than usual because they don't get stuff done by others. Therefore, they don't have the time to play around. If anyone tries to call them, don't worry. 
They'll be able to do it because they are super fast. Another reference to One Piece and the supernatural powers conceded by the Devil Fruits previously explained. It just says that if anyone tries to get in their way, they have enough power and strength to end them and do whatever they want. Superman is the archetype of a superhero. He wears an outlandish costume, uses a code name, and fights evil with the aid of extraordinary abilities. It was Superman who popularized the superhero genre and established its conventions. In this scene, they are not portraying anyone just themselves, but the lyrics say, no matter how you look at us, which means that it doesn't matter if you look at the girls themselves or the people whom they are trying to project. Either way, they are super ladies, and obviously stronger than Superman. Yes, The song ends abruptly and with a dash indicating that there's a continuation. The continuation, however, is the beginning, because in this way, the last sentence, yes sir, I'm A, connects with the beginning one, which is, I am the top super lady, and it becomes, yes sir, I'm the top super lady. Now let's go to the theories. The first theory is regarding the album. If you check the logo motion, you can notice how the number five turns into the number two, and then it becomes the Idol logo. The five and two represent Idol's debut date. Soyeon said that for this album, she was thinking of the concept of something natural, fundamental, and essential such as oneself, the unique essence and inner nature of someone. Saying that the same Idol that debuted six years ago is still the same, if you know what I mean. This connects even further when you check the concept trailer where they sort of performed movements very similar to their past songs. The second theory is regarding Sujin. In the concept trailer, there's a scene where they are forming a circle, and in the middle of the circle, there's the letter G. I already talked about it before, but the letter G in Idol's name has two meanings. The first one is the translation, which means women, and it makes sense considering that the album is essentially about women's empowerment. However, before Sujin's departure, the G was also used to represent the number of members in the group, which used to be six. The third theory is also about the album and a bit of Sujin. The album logo resembles a lot the logo from the movie The Incredibles, a movie that focuses on a five-people family, each with their superpower ability. In the movie, one of the female protagonists, Helen, also known as Mrs. Incredible, is early depicted by others as a feminist. But after marrying Bob, the Mr. Incredible, she becomes a very dedicated mom. Mrs. Incredible's powers mirror society's expectations of a mother and how a woman has to work hard to get society's acceptance. The funny thing is that Mrs. Incredible character was was inspired by Marilyn Monroe, Su Jin's inspiration. I do believe this is true because of two things in particular. The first one is the song Wife, which talks exactly about that, and if you pay attention to their hair, it looks extremely similar to Edna, another female character presented in the movie. Despite not being the protagonist, Edna plays a major role in the movie as she helps the family with her wit and bold personality. The second thing is the order of the songs. Wife is the last song, and the first one is Super Lady, suggesting that all wives are super ladies and not just wives, as the society suggests. Well, that's it. I hope Hope you guys can understand a bit more about the song and what it means. I apologize if I wasn't very clear. It's kind of hard to explain everything, especially with a robot voice. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked it, and if you did, please consider sharing, liking, and commenting on this video. It would help me, and I'd appreciate it a lot. Thank you again, and bye!